Hi everybody, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new QuickBooks Bill Pay feature that you can activate as an add-on in QuickBooks Online. I actually had to record this video over the course of two different days because of the account verification process. It will make total sense once it's put together, but I hope uh, this is useful so you can get to activate uh, bill payments uh, for your own account. I just wanna add one more thing. I'm an accountant and I have an accountant's version of QuickBooks Online and I actually get this service for free. So I'm particularly excited about that. But, uh, you know, the end users will pay uh, for the service if they get the the edition that's not free. So there's a free edition and there's a, a pay edition. We'll, we'll cover all that stuff in the video. All right, let's get right to it. So the first step is I clicked on the new button and then I went down to pay bills. That's where you're going to start activating uh, the account. Once you go into pay bills, you have to already have a bill in the system, whatever bill you have. You select any bill that you have and here on the bottom right, it should say either schedule payment, save and close, save or save and print. Just make sure you have schedule payment. That's the most important one. And we're gonna click on schedule payment. And um, once you get into the QuickBooks bill pay screen, because I don't have an account yet, but you actually have to add the bill pay service to it, you're going to have three options here. You're going to have basic, which is free, and it includes five payments per month. So you're making five electronic payments via ACH per month. And then we have the premium version, which is $15 a month. And again, these prices can change in the future if you watch this video way after it was recorded. It comes with 40 payments a month, probably one of the most common plans that people will pick. And what's really cool about this $15 a month plan is that it also includes 1099s. So let's say, for example, you got up to 40 contractors that you pay every single month and you pay them electronically. It would include filing at 1099 for them as well. And then there's the elite version, which is $90 a month, quite a bit of a jump, which is actually unlimited uh, ACH payment. So there's no fee. And obviously, this, you're going to be considering this if you need to do more than 40. Now, the other thing that you get with the Elite is you get uh, roles and permission settings and custom bill approval workflow. So if you don't have QuickBooks Online Advanced yet, if you only have Essentials or Plus or whatever, uh, you're going to get uh, the ability to have multiple users. One creates the bill, another one approves the bill. So that's going to be really interesting um, to have for people that kind of need that uh, extra layer of security. Now, for, for, the, for the basic and the premium, basic limited to free, sorry, basic limited to five payments, it is uh, 50 cents per additional payment, where uh, the premium, which is limited to 40, it would be uh, 50 cents per additional uh, ACH payment over 40. And then if you actually want uh, QuickBooks to literally draft, check, and send it to the vendor, that's an extra hundred, I mean, a dollar fifty per transaction. And there's also faster ACH payments, which I believe are next day payments. Uh, you could pay an extra 10 bucks instead of taking a week to pay or whatever. Okay, so we're going to pick the version that we want to go. I'm going to pick this one, the premium. Actually, I'm going to pick the elite uh, just in case something else shows up that is worth mentioning. And I'll click on choose plan. And then you actually have to make sure you fill out your proper business information, your address, all that stuff is going to ask you questions about you because there's some underwriting here. So there is uh, sort of a sort of a soft uh, credit pool here. It says it, it won't impact your credit score, but they need to verify who you are and make sure there's no major problems with you as a business owner for QuickBooks to be able to uh, to bank you. And then you're going to go into a uh, payment method and you're going to select, uh, we're going to put all your bank account information. So we're going to finish doing this. And once the account gets approved, we can get started with making the first bill payment. Okay, so I finished entering my banking information. Click on continue. And there's going to be a process where they're going to send you two small deposits to your bank. And then that's how you're going to, uh, double, they're going to double check that they're pulling the money out of their right bank account. And then we click on finish setup. And then finally, you agree to the monthly fee and then you click on subscribe and click on get started. Okay, so I literally had to stop the recording and come back a couple of days later so I can verify my bank. Once I set up the bank, I get these two deposits into the bank and then I have to put the dollar amounts back in there. 
So I'll show you uh, where it shows so you can set that up. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go and grab a bill that I have open, and then I'm going to go back into scheduled payments. So as long as I go in any of the scheduled payment screens, it's going to go into this new uh, bill pay screen. Then you select the bank account that you have set up uh, that you for the direct deposit uh, test so you can verify the account. And then it's going to ask you how much did we deposit. So I'm going to switch over to the bank account. And I'm literally just going to read the two amounts. So 11 cents and 12 cents. That was, you know, the transaction in my specific bank account. Yours is going to be different. It's going to be unique each time. So I'll be 11 cents and 12 cents. And then I'm going to click on verify. Then here on the right hand side, it will have you choose which is the bank account. You could have multiple uh, checking accounts or bank accounts that you're going to choose from. Then you're going to click on next on the bottom right. And then in here, you're going to put all the contact information of the vendor that you're going to pay. You can choose to pay them via ACH, as I mentioned earlier, the first five ACH uh, transfers for that lower tier free QB payment accounts is free. For the middle tier, you get up to 40 ACH payments. And for the elite version of this service, it's unlimited uh, free ACHs. If you pick a paper check, it will tell you here what the processing fee is. So they do charge a processing fee for doing uh, paper checks. It's going to be anywhere between dollar to two dollars. So right here it shows it's a dollar twenty-seven. But I mean, I assume this could vary. So I'm going to do the ACH payment, and then I'm going to put the information about who I'm trying to pay. Then it gives you a quick preview of which bank account are you paying from, and which account it's being paid to whatever the processing fee is very clearly in there. The bill amount is here on the left on the due date of the actual bill. And here is the, um, the, the payment amount on the right as well. If you click on the little pencil icon, you can actually modify the payment. So if you want to pay less than the due, uh, the total amount of the bill, you can do that. So you don't have to pay uh, the full bill at this point. You can just choose what amount you want to pay. And then down here, you can say, uh, prepayment for your bill, one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever the bill number is. And then we're going to click on schedule payment. Then it gives you a preview. This has been scheduled. It's not processing yet. It hasn't been delivered. It hasn't been paid yet. You get a link to be able to see the bill. You can scroll down and just kind of see, okay, which is the account that I'm paying from, account I'm paying to. It tells you when you have a chance to cancel the payment and then the note to vendor that I enter and then you click on done and then you will be done. You can open up the actual bill and then you can see that there's a history on this bill that a payment has been made. So I can click on that payment. And I see it looks just like a normal uh, bill payment in QuickBooks. That's it. And unfortunately, from this screen, you really can't uh, go back and see that scheduled payment detail page. To do that, you're going to X out of that. We're going to go into back into our bill section. And then right there on our bill screen, there's going to be a link that says show bill payments. So we're going to click on show bill payments and then it takes you to my bill payments. This is the bill payment history screen. There's an ID identifier, vendor name, bill number if there is one, payment date, the bank account that you're transferring to, dollar amount, and then it says scheduled. That word schedule, that's the key thing. Scheduled means it's going through QB bill payments. And then there's view details. If you click on that, it takes you to the same page where you can see uh, the details about the scheduled payment, bank account that is being paid to, uh, the ability to cancel the payment. You still can see that. And then you can click on view bill and it sends you back into the actual original bill. So that's it. That's uh, QB payments, QB bill pay in a nutshell. I hope uh, you found this video useful and that you're able to activate it in your account. And I would love to know your thoughts. Is it working well for you? Um, is it solving some issues? Uh, is it worth the money? Is it worth the $15 or $90 or whatever it costs? I would love to know. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.